run your own race. So last night I was in a room full of entrepreneurs in a thing called fuck up nights. And fuck up nights is a night where we have uh, entrepreneurs get up in front of a little crowd of people and uh, we were like in a fancy cafe and there was about 30, 40 of us and this room had different people of you know different backgrounds some a lot of people were like uh, self-development coaches uh, there were you know keynote speakers and uh, a lot of different professionals and software and uh, in health and all sorts of things and um, marketing as well and I found myself in that room just feeling completely inadequate I felt that um, I was just sitting there just feeling like a big idiot because I was in the room comparing myself to you know 50 something year olds that have made 60 million dollar businesses and people that have made you know multi-million dollar businesses you know that were up in front of the stage speaking and just in the crowd right and I guess the image that comes up for me was like these guys were dealing with you know all this energy of, of business and everything kind of like a big forest fire you know and here I am just trying to you know get the little sparks going with my little flint and steel you know just like and nothing's happening well I'm getting like the little sparks the little embers right and I'm just I'm just sitting there going like oh man I, I feel completely inadequate like how can I talk to anyone in this room and um, yeah just because I'm just getting my my thing started and I, I actually did talk to a bunch of people and it, it was really good and I, I kind of left the, that night going like it was a fantastic night amazing night but I left feeling with a bit of a feeling of inadequacy of going shit these people are you know making multi-million dollar businesses and dealing with amazing crazy shit that you know impacts people worldwide and doing all sorts of stuff and here I am trying to figure out my own way in life trying to get my, my little fire started you know why can't why can't I get it right why am I not further ahead in life than where I currently am and it's been, just been sitting on my mind just that, that feeling of stress of just like oh man I should be further ahead because other people are. And sitting here just in this beautiful nature, I kind of remembered like a little saying, uh, I think it's from Lao Tzu or something, where in nature, nothing is rushed, but everything is accomplished. And it also brought up another saying, I think this one was from um, David Goggins, and it's run your own race. And in that, I, I recall that I was like, you know what, I'm comparing myself to all these people that have probably had 10, 20, 30 years ahead of me in the game. All I'm just doing is making myself feel like shit. What what is the use of this? There's none. It's it's only just hurting myself to try and compare myself to all these other people here. In business, in you know, in success and everything. I'm running my own race. And to compare myself to people running completely different races in their own life makes absolutely no sense. And in reminding myself of that, sitting here, I realized that, yeah, it's actually, I have my own race, I have my own particular path that's right for me. I have the lessons that I need to learn for myself along my own path. Providence, God, 
universe, source, whatever you want to call it, has set out a, a journey for me, just as it has set out a journey for you. And there's all sorts of lessons that need to be learned along the way for you and for me. So for me to try and look over my shoulder and see somebody else's further ahead in their own race and try and compare it to my own race, it doesn't actually make any sense. It only causes pain because I'm trying to compare apples and oranges. They have their own lessons to learn in life and I have mine. And just in the what the entrepreneurs were telling with their stories of their major fuck-ups, some of them were telling stories of how they made money very quickly and then later had a huge crash multiple times because that money came around so quickly. That was the lesson that they needed to learn at their time, at their point, in their race. So even though they may be, you know, financially successful getting money in or, you know, um, getting loans or whatever, getting a lot of money coming through, they actually learned a very hard lesson of losing it all and causing a lot of, you know, problems, a lot of fuck-ups in their own lives and lives of others. And they had to learn their own temperance, their own way of being still with themselves or to forgive themselves or to forgive others. But that's the lesson they had to learn. The lessons that I have to learn and what you have to learn are different. So, in me saying this, what I want to leave you with is run your own race. You have your own path set out for you. And to win this race, quote unquote win, you need to make sure you're doing two things. One, that you're continuously moving along this track, that you, you're certainly not gonna win by just standing still and doing nothing. Keep moving, keep walking, keep taking it step by step. And however long it needs to take is what it needs to take for you. And two, make sure that you're running the correct race. Run your race not somebody else's. Their race has the lessons that they need for them. Your race has the lesson that you need for you. So run your race. Don't compare yourself. It only leads to misery. And that is how you win in life. I'll catch you next time.